How's it going, everybody? Today's topic of discussion comes from uh, CDLLife.com. Uh, Transportation Nation didn't have any new news articles to discuss today, so uh, I found a good one over here on CDL Life. I want to know what you guys think about it. Uh, it has to do with the driver blitz that happened, that actually took place in July. Uh, July 11th to 17th of this year, 2021. They just got their data back about a week ago about how it went. And I want to know, what do you think? They, they, they did a driver blitz on not just commercial vehicles, they did it on personal vehicles as well. Who do you think got more citations? Was it the commercial drivers or the personal vehicles, the four-wheelers as we call them? The sun has graciously decided to join us again this morning. It's very nice to see it again. How's it going, you ball of fire? If you could stay out of my eyes, that'd be great. It's not gonna listen. <laughs> I'm excited to see the sun. It's good. Another day. The earth is still turning. It's good. It's good. It's very good. All right. There's air in the tires. We've got this uh, 53 foot rental roll tight today. A flat. I'm going to Toulon to pick up some stuff that's going to California. I'm just out here. Oh, I gotta spike the brakes yet. Check the brake lights. Sometimes I forget. Now I gotta go around the trailer twice. You never wanna have to do a job twice that you could do once. Same thing with moving stuff around, right? You don't wanna move stuff twice if you don't have to. But uh, damn, I'm just gonna splash between here. All right, you think these trailers got some good air in them? I mean, you can tell that they're good by the way they are. That thing is locked. Good, good, good. Signal light under here working? Fantastic. That's awesome. It's going to be a good day. It is. Can you feel it? And look. I even shinied up what I could on the truck yesterday. So we got a nice clean truck. I polished everything, cleaned and polished it. I know, it's still old. Uh, don't worry. It won't be old forever. I have a feeling that that rust will be gone by next summer. I just have that feeling. But it's shining, so what can shine is shining, thanks to our good friends at Bullsnot. The best cleaning products. Look at that. You can see yourself right in there. Beautiful. Beautiful. But before we go trucking, remember we gotta check those brake lights. Gotta check those brake lights. So, I hook my handy dandy brake check, brake light checker thing onto my brakes here for my trailer. Make sure it holds. You hook that down onto this uh, fire extinguisher because uh, that's what it's designed for. If you didn't know, now you know. And you walk all the way back to the back here for the second time. You want to try to do this only once to try to, you know me, do it twice. And there's our brake lights. I've turned off our hazards already. Brake lights are working just fine. Three center lights working. License plate light working. Okay. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Toulon awaits us. Look at these clean windows. Look at this. Bull snot. Did you call it? <laughs> they're good. Th they're good products. They work. So I'm on the way up too long, got the roll tight behind me. It takes about an hour to get there. Uh, we're going north right now. Uh, we're gonna go around the east side of Winnipeg, go up Highway 7 if you're familiar with the area. And uh, I think we're picking up four pieces, four big pieces. It'll take up about, probably about 42, 40, 40 some feet of the trailer, most of the trailer. And there's two deliveries, there's two calls on it, I think. One's going to Santa Fe, California, and the other one is going to somewhere along the way 
possibly Arizona or Nevada, I think. I'll have to double check that for you when we stop. It's in my computer here. It's gonna be a good day though. We've had a absolutely fantastic fall or autumn season here in Manitoba. The last week we've had a very strong wind coming out of the south, coming from the US. And it's been bringing up that warm American air, probably all the way from the Gulf of Mexico. So it's been windy, yes, but that's okay because it's been a warm wind. It's, it's still not fun strapping down a load in the wind, but uh, we're thankful for our American friends sharing their warm weather with us. Don't worry, we will return the favor. Winter is coming and we will share some of our winter weather with you in return. So we get a little bit of American, you get a little bit of Canadian. It's a give and give relationship, you know? We'll make sure we got a good polar vortex worked up for you this year. You deserve it. All of this sharing you've been doing with us, we, we have to return the favor. That's what we're working with today. One big crate, one smaller one, two over here, two over there. They couldn't quite fit them side by side, I guess. And there's not a 12 feet going on the back there yet. We have about 14 feet left. So it'll be a full trailer. And this is all going to Durham, North Carolina. So Durham, if you're from Durham, you got incoming. picked up this afternoon. This is a whole new residential neighborhood coming up here in uh, off McPhillips in Northwest Winnipeg. These are all uh, like electric lines and electric cables. His trailer's over there, he already unloaded it. Got one more to do. <laughs> it's pretty fun, can't lie, it's pretty fun. Anything with big heavy equipment is fun, to be honest. He's got a nice truck too, look at this thing. It's a beautiful Kenworth. All right, here he comes around again. I'm gonna throw it in the hole, so he can pick it up. this hard hat would be enough to protect you. How's that? We're gonna pack it up and head on back. Hopefully you could hear me over all this wind noise. It's pretty windy up here right now. I'm trying to keep you sheltered from it coming my way. But it's a nice fall day again. It's a nice warm wind coming out of the south. See, on his crane truck, he doesn't sit on the top, like on the one I use. He's actually on the ground behind there yet. It's a little bit of a different setup. I'm not trained on this truck yet. Uh, I don't know if they will train me. If, if they need me to be trained on it, uh, I'd always be willing, of course. He's gonna fold it up now. This is 
the tool that I use. Goes in there and uh, lifts them up like that. This strap can lift up to 6,200 pounds. Just this little guy. Take a look at this bad boy. Now that would be fun. Look at that, I'm gonna give him some extra room here. You give her, bud. That's nice. Nice truck, too. Very nice. Oh, another long day. But a fun day, not complaining. Long day. We'll be back here again to do it again tomorrow. Lots of work to be done. You guys want to work here? <laughs> we need help. We need drivers. Pretty sure we're looking for another city driver. That's what I do. Looking for long haul, open deck, van division, Keystone or Darkle, same company. Well, legally different companies, but run out of the same office. Dark Hole is a division of Keystone Western. Uh, Keystone Western, I believe, bought Dark Hole, but uh, they're running out of the same, same office here right now. Oh, I don't think this gate's gonna open for me at this time. Oh, yes, it's right, it's in Trucker Josh. You're going home too late, Trucker Josh. You gotta go around. This back gate gets locked. Uh, at a certain time. I haven't discovered which time exactly. It's sometime around, sometime, sometime, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta go around to the front gate. All right, we didn't forget to uh, follow up on the beginning of the vlog when we asked you the question, who do you think got more infractions and more citations or more tickets? Four wheelers or 18 wheelers? Did you guess four-wheelers? <laughs> According to the article I'm looking at here, U.S. officers pulled over no, 23,871 commercial motor vehicles. And 9,366 passenger vehicles during this week-long event. Sorry, the, the article just jumped away on me. They're, they're trying to sell me with ads. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I do the same thing, I understand. <laughs> so a total of 4,420 warnings and 3,158 citations were issued to commercial motor vehicle drivers in the U.S. And 4,018 warnings and 9,106 citations were issued to passenger vehicles. Three times as many four-wheelers were issued citations as commercial vehicles. So you really got to wonder why they uh, target us truckers so much when it comes to safety on the road, right? I shouldn't say it like that. Safety is very important. It's important to all of us. We're commercial drivers. We're professional drivers. So of course it's important to us. But they seem to be targeting the wrong group of drivers because it seems... I'm just going by the data here, okay? And what do they say? What do they say about facts? Um, apparently, four-wheelers are three times more likely to get a citation. <laughs> so I guess we know where we need to focus our future energy towards. I don't know, I'm just saying. It's just, just, just a thought from a trucker. You can just... You can throw my thoughts in the garbage, or maybe you could... Get off our backs a little bit, because we're not the ones causing all the problems. <laughs> Anyways, I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. Sorry to leave you hanging right to the end of the vlog. I meant to discuss this in the middle of the day, and I forgot. But don't worry, I got you. Four-wheelers, three times more citations than the 18-wheelers. So it's settled. We're not the problem. <laughs> Thanks for watching today, guys. I hope you got a kick out of that. Tune in tomorrow. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You know the drill. Share it with your friends. YouTube doesn't always uh, recommend my videos like they used to. I don't know. I don't know how the algorithm works anymore. They change it every day, it seems. But uh, if you want to help me out, best way to do that is to share it on your Facebook, your Twitter, your, your Instagram. If you're on TikTok, talk on TikTok about this weird Trucker Josh guy that's on, you know, the old school YouTube. We're still over here making videos. 
<laughs> I have a TikTok as well. I just don't make as much content there because I'm a YouTuber. I'm not a TikToker. Maybe one day. I don't know. Maybe I'm too old for that. I don't know. <laughs> Please subscribe here. Hit the like button if you did like the video. Helps me out a lot. And leave me a comment down below. That I know helps the algorithm when there's lots of comments. All right. If you watched right to the end, just leave a comment that says algorithm. Okay, I'm not only testing your ability to spell algorithm correctly, I'm also testing to see whether or not you watched right to the very end. Okay? <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow.